All right, this was a request uh, from a viewer. I uh, hope, he, hope, he uh, hope he finds this video. I reviewed this uh, uh, transceiver that was sent into the channel and he was interested in the Synad. And it is a software defined radio, so uh, I would imagine it has a pretty good Synad because they have really great filtering and stuff in it. So let's go ahead and turn it on. So Synad is the uh, ability for the radio to detect low signals, okay? And so it's a signal to noise ratio. And you transmit into the uh, device with some modulation and then the output, the speaker output goes inside and it listens to the radio. And it compares this quality of the sine wave that's being transmitted and the quality of the sine wave that's being received and creates a, a, a value called sine ad. And generally, um, what you do is you keep turning down and down and down the amount of power that you transmit. So, you know, minus 60 dBm, minus 70 dBm. You keep going lower and lower and lower in dBm's until the sine ad falls to about 12. All right. And so let's go ahead and you, I'm, I'm transmitting a one kilohertz tone at 50% modulation. Now, the funny thing here is that this doesn't receive AM. So I'm receive, I'm transmitting AM but I'm receiving only half of the sideband and not the carrier of an on upper sideband. So, but I think it's valid. Um, so let me turn down the volume here. And I'm going to, uh, right now we're at minus 68 dBm. Now I think uh, we can get better than this and we can watch the sine ad. So right now at minus 72 dBm, we're at 21, 21 sine ad. Let's keep going down till we get some lower sine ad. So now we're around maybe 18, 19 sine ad. We're at minus 79. Let's keep going down. Let's keep going down. Here's 14 sine ad at minus six, minus 86 dBm. So let's, let me see if we can get down around 12. Yeah, it's bouncing between 12 and 13. There's 11. So let's go back up again. So I'd say here. I'd say that the sine ad measurement is minus 87 dBm. Sounds pretty good to me. Um, and uh, that is at seven megahertz. So we can try this at a different megahertz and see if it matters. Okay, seven. Let's try 14 megahertz. See here, I gotta reach around 14 megahertz, and we're at eight minus 86, and we're getting seven. It's actually better here at at, 14, at uh, 20 meters. So let's uh, go down. Yeah, the sine ad here is around 89. So yeah, it's pretty good. And just so you see the numbers that I'm doing here, I'm transmitting a kilohertz and I, at 14 megahertz, I have minus 89 dBm and I'm getting a sine out of about 12 or 13.